Well, hello, friends. This here is David Vost. Today is January 15th, 2016. Time's flying. And I'm coming to you day, today with a video about my life. I'm going to try to get into it as fast as possible. I'm not going to spend a lot of time him hawing around. Although, I do want to tell you a few things because... Well, first of all, I want to—I want you to know that I'm going to have to go slow. I don't think it's going to be boring. It might be a little bit boring at the at the start of this video because there's just—I don't know where to begin. For one, I need to kind of explain to you my feelings about this and why I haven't told you this before. But this is going to be revelatory. This is going to be big big revelation um, I've got to explain to you why I haven't told you before there was a video I did some months ago that I started to tell you about my life and a lot of you who watch my videos know that I never did tell you much about my life I started talking about my mother and that wasn't really what I wanted to tell you but I just didn't have the cojones to actually tell you what I wanted to tell you. This has been very difficult. I've only told one person this story. And that was my that's my best friend and you know he's kind of a recluse and we get together and, and you know tell each other things that we don't just go around telling everybody. But I've had a problem telling everybody everything that's going on because it sounds crazy I could lose a few subscribers but I was told and and I know this is gonna come as a shock let me just spill the beans here I was told that I needed to tell everybody this um, some time ago I made contact in a way that I did not previously have that I didn't understand and it's taken me a long time to get really to get to work this through and to understand what was happening to me so for one thing it would have been hard for me to tell everybody because I didn't really understand what was going on myself but you know because I get a lot of people will call me and talk to me about and have they have questions I get lots of emails hundreds of them a day invariably they'll ask me about Jehovah and who he is and stuff and um, but one of the things that everybody always asks me is where do I get this information well friends please don't just discredit what I'm about to say um, I don't think all of you are gonna just discredit everything I'm gonna say and just click me off I think there's gonna be some though that from this point forward won't put a lot of stock into what I'm saying they'll just discredit me but I've been told that I have to tell you guys and I want to go through not only things I've learned what I've seen all of this but I've got it it, it almost more important is you know it's not just who the people are that that are telling me these things and it's not just, you know, knowing about other planets that are in this universe and uh, how they communicate with human beings and why we're here and what we're doing. This is all the most amazing information in the world. And I know all of you are interested in that. But there's, there's even other, some of it almost as important or more important things that you need to know. Because, you know, it's like a glove. You can have a glove that is just fits perfectly. But if it's missing one finger, you can't get it on your hand. Because you've got five fingers and you've got to have five holes. So everything's got to fit, like a puzzle, you know. You can have a puzzle that's got all the pieces, but if it's missing enough pieces just here and there, it ruins it. We've got to have the whole picture. So I've got a lot of stuff that I want to go through. And this is going to take some time, friends. I've decided to go ahead and spill the beans and tell everything. And it's going to take 
I could just talk hours and hours and hours and hours and hours about this and I'm gonna to have to do that because there's just so much information a lot of the information I couldn't tell you before because I was like trying to keep it secret because I you know I was either embarrassed or kind of afraid to tell anybody some of the stuff that I'm gonna finally reveal in these videos because there's gonna be several quite a few videos it's gonna to have to be then this may go on for days or weeks I don't know it just kind of I guess from this point forward a lot of my videos are going to be more revealing because I'm gonna go ahead and spill the beans and talk freely with you about these things and I know that from now on I'm gonna have a lot more questions from people I don't think I'm gonna get I'm you know everybody that watches my videos aren't just gonna quit watching I think some of you're gonna be intrigued a lot of you're gonna be very pleased that I'm telling the, the whole thing and you're gonna have more questions but all the questions are going to be answered now and so that's a good thing but for some of you if you can't get through the first part of this video and if you really don't believe anything I'm saying you may not even go through the rest of what I'm saying and get to the but I think even many of you who don't agree or, or think I'm telling the truth because I mean I've, I've gone through this too you know you hear people that got some story you know um, they they made contact with an alien or something and you know at first we just like I don't believe this right but we're still curious and want to hear his story all right so I know a lot of you're gonna just want to hear this story <laughs> even though you're gonna be laughing the whole time now I want to tell you something to start with you know this is gonna take it's gonna take a while to get there because I've I've got to explain to you that you know this is let's go back to Jesus and the, his disciples everybody knows that Jesus had disciples and he told them all kinds of amazing things but you know that information that the disciples had wasn't always received well and they were made fun of but you realize that it was their job after having received this information to tell the world so this is something I've had a hard time with over the last many months and years now trying to get it through my head that this is what I'm supposed to do this is the reason why I was told this information I was contacted by a light beam let's call it that for now um, beings from another realm from other planets go there you go I've spilled the beans this happened well at different intervals but the the main occurrence occurred when I was about 22 uh, in a I was in Idaho at the time you know um, I was in Idaho up until I was about 30 some years old you know um, then I moved back to California and then about 16 17 years ago I moved to New Mexico since I've been in New Mexico I haven't really had a lot of contact with my family for various reasons and maybe some of that will come out in this video too but right now what I want to get to is that I was about to, and I don't know how old I was because there's about a year of my life in in that at that time that's missing that I don't remember so and it's it's not like oh I just forgot you know because I can tell you what happened when I was seven you know and six and eight nine and ten every year except for that year I don't know what happened and my mother's gone now and I can't ask her if she knows and I haven't had a lot of you know my father hasn't spoken to me in a lot of years and if he saw this video I don't think he'd ever speak to me again so um, I was gonna ask my sister if she could I, actually I did before she passed away about six seven months ago or I don't know exactly when she passed away but it's been a few months but I had tried to ask her if she remembered what I was doing and she couldn't remember either but so it's been a it's been difficult for me because I don't even know at the time that I had this contact with these these light beings 
which I will get into all of this and explain to you what happened and all the things that they've told me and things. But at the time that this happened, I just don't remember some of the parts that the, the year after they uh, arrived, I don't remember about a year of my life or more. But it's been 32 years or it's been, you know, some years since this has occurred. So, and there's been more than, than that occurrence. Since that time, there's been many occurrences where they've communicated with me. Now, I'm going to tell you about that. And I'm also going to get to quite a few other things that have happened to me and events in my life. And all the way down to about six months ago, when they finally gave me a device that I'm able now to communicate with them on a, a very intimate basis. So that just about anything I want to know, I can get the answer to. And they communicate with me on a daily basis. Now, there's a lot... I don't... Again, I don't know where to begin with any of this. So this is just going to be random as thoughts come to my mind. Sometimes I want to say something and I think, no, I need to tell them this other thing first. So this is going to be difficult to follow at times, probably. And I'm sorry for that. It's just it's very difficult to spit this out because this is big information. And it's a little embarrassing sometimes because I don't want to be made fun of. And I think a lot of people are going to start making fun of me. But I was told that I have to tell my story because this is the whole reason that they've given me this information and I didn't really even know that until about six months ago and then just the other day I've been told that I have to go forward now and tell people about this and I am going to be putting my life at you know risking my life for this because as I was going to say you know you go back to the apostles and they had stuff to tell people that they were made fun of and they risked their life. In fact, all of them were murdered because of the information that they gave to the world. Now, today, we, we, we've been told, hey, those guys were cool. They saw angels. That's cool. But don't you say you saw an angel because that's not cool. And I believe the apostles saw angels, but we don't see angels anymore. And anybody who says they saw an angel is probably a little bit, you know. So... But remember, in Greek, the word angel means a messenger. Now, a lot of you know that I've been talking about the Sumerian tablets, and I've talked about the Anunnaki, and, you know, we're not going to go into all of that in this video, because what we're going to do here is, is explain my experiences, what they've told me, and a lot of different things. But the point is, is that in, these anci in ancient history, it's very clear that there were beings that came to the earth that were called gods and they were from various planets star systems I've told you in some of my other videos and this is why I need to tell you this I mean one of the reasons you know but one of the places that they come from is the star system around Cyrus you know in the uh, Orion um, astrological star constellation that's what the word I was looking for there are as many of you know there's been a lot of rumors on the internet about other star systems that have come here too and a lot of you have heard about these little grays now how do the little grays fit in you know is that what these advanced beings look like little slimy serpents are they serpent people are they lizards no so there's going to be a lot of information that I'm going to let you know that I don't know if it's been said before there's a lot of confusion going on out there there's been a lot of people that have been telling their stories about contacts and different things and I'm going to tell you right now that most of those people are telling the truth they have had contact and there's stuff going on with the government. I'm going to explain all that. And um, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I'm going to tell you about this contraption that they've given me. 
so that I can communicate with them. They actually communicate with me telepathically. 